Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Wednesday, May the 9th, 2012. We're well, a continuation of the trend to the downside today, and here we have a candle making a lower high and a lower low. A large black body candle with a smallish shadow on the bottom. The black body denotes the sellers making net bearish progress as they did with the previous day and roughly the same amount so the sellers are maintaining the downside momentum that they've built over the uh, previous week and a half, two weeks. The sellers have closed with control, they did lose some commitment as we can see from this shadow but it's only a minimal amount and they do have fairly strong control by closing well below the midpoint level. With the support and resistance levels drawn on, we can see that the market interacted with the 10043 level today, and we saw a rejection from that level with the market not being able to close down below there. Previous uh, two days trading, we tested below the 10144 level, closed down below there yesterday with a bearish close, which gave us the uh, impetus to test down to lower levels. The market is now flirting with the $1 round number level, very important level, and we should see the market find support around here. The market could probe down below there, but bounce off there. It's uh, not likely that we will see the market trading down through there uh, all in one go. Could see some congestion. In terms of uh, the pattern here that I've described, we previously had the uh, breakout from the megaphone pattern, establishing a very strong downtrend in the second time frame, with the market making lower peaks and lower troughs. Then the market changed trend in the next time frame to form this large area of congestion uh, that I've described as a flag type pattern. We had the bearish breakout down below, and the market has gone on with that move. Flags to are uh, normally continuation patterns which is what we've seen here this is not a typical flag it's a little bit too big to be a typical flag type pattern so quite a volatile trading area here but generally the uh, size of the move would be the extent of the prior trend moving into the pattern projected down now that gives it as a target down around 96 there is a possibility that we could trade down to there but uh, that would be a big move trading through quite a few important uh, support levels especially the one dollar level which the market will interact with soon down below one dollar if the market does trade down below one dollar in a bearish way the next area of support is down around 98.59 so we do need to watch that level if we see a solid bearish close below one dollar we could quickly be trading down to 98.59 and if there's continued bearishness down there reaching 96 wouldn't surprise but that really is looking quite a long way ahead just moving quickly to the Fibonacci extension that um, that I've highlighted previously, we see the uh, extension of uh, this move here. Uh, we had the retracement of that move and an expansion, then an extension, and the market is now interacting with the 261.8% level, so we have seen rejection from there, and this will be an important level in terms of that Fibonacci extension. If we see buying coming in, then uh, we could certainly see the market rally and change trend in the first time frame. But looking at the Fibonacci retracements and expansions of the previous swing, here we have the uh, upswing in the first time frame and the change of trend to the downside. With the market testing here at the 100% level, then testing solidly at the 161.8% over the previous few days, where we were seeing rejection from, rejection from that area. But we haven't seen a change of trend to confirm that that area is holding. And uh, today the market's gone on with the move down through the 161.8% level, and that does set the market up for a test down to this lower level at 98.70 which is the 261.8 percent expansion and moving on to the trend channels the trend channels have been working very very well in the Aussie dollar um, if we draw some of these channels and we can see how the lower boundaries of the channel have acted as very solid uh, uh, support and all resistance in this market uh, in the case of the up uh, trend and the case here for the downtrend a uh, trend line here in a higher time frame compared to this uh, smaller one we were able to draw this trend line when the market took out this uh, swing low down around 10228 and we drew the channel at, through this point level and now the market has interacted with that level so it wouldn't surprise to see the market bounce off this lower channel for this second test. 
And in terms of Ichimoku, we have a bearish market in all three time frames. The market's trading down below the cloud, and uh, we saw this breakout below the cloud, which gave us some confidence of the breakout below uh, from this pattern. Um, bearish in the long term time frame, the medium and the fast term time frame by trading below the cloud, the Kyujin Sen, and the Tenkan Sen, and the Chikal Span here is supporting the uh, bearishness that we're seeing in all three time frames. So there is uh, a possibility that the market will go on with this move. The uh, Kijun Sen here is attempting to point flat here as the market's developing for today's trading. If we do see some upside momentum, we don't take out the low, we could end up with a flat Kijun Sen, and that would give us a uh, strong possibility of a retracement back towards the Kijun Sen. Uh, if we do retrace back up towards there, the 101.44 level is probably most important and then the 102.18 level. But the market is uh, quite bearish at the moment. There aren't any signs that we will see a, a rally at the moment and a test down to the round number $1 is uh, probably more likely than a test up to 101.44 within the next day. <laughs> Thank you.